know, we're celebrating a lot tonight, but one of the most celebrated things in Tennessee, Tennessee whiskey. <laughs> and while Jack Daniels is proud to celebrate their story, their history isn't complete without looking at how African Americans shaped the foundation of their business. News Channel 5 Chris Davis shows us how they want to build on that legacy. For decades, whiskey lovers have wondered, what's Jack's secret? Is it the spring water that bubbles up from deep below Lynchburg? Or is it the secret recipe that turned this plot of land into a pilgrimage? It goes back you know, over 100 years. It's pretty amazing. Maybe it's where that recipe came from. Uncle Nearest was a slave for Dan Call. Dan Call was a nearby farmer who took Jack under his wing. For decades, Call was credited with teaching Jack how to distill. But now historians believe it was actually his slave, Nearest Green, that taught him everything he knew. And Uncle Nearest actually was the distiller um, at Dan Call's farm and made all of the whiskey that he made. And so when Jack was young, um, Nearest taught Jack the art of distilling and how to distill. The distillery doesn't have a picture of Nearest Green, but his impact is unmistakable. In fact, you might say you wouldn't have a bottle of Jack without Nearest Green. After the Civil War, a newly freed nearest declined an offer to work for the distillery, but his son George continued the legacy. And actually in this picture, he's the man sitting right next to Jack Daniels, so he was Jack Daniels' right-hand man during that time. In fact, throughout Jack Daniels' history, there's always been a green working here. Debbie, Jackie, and Jerome, who currently work at the distillery today. Which is remarkable considering overall African Americans are vastly underrepresented in this business. Larry Combs says, at least for now. Just with the race, uh, recent um, racial issues in the George Floyd case and it brought so much attention to it that you know we felt you know this is the time to move. So now Jack Daniels along with another distillery that is named in Nearest Green's honor have announced a partnership with one major goal. How do we increase African American representation in the distilled spirits industry? because it's very low representation. It's a three-part plan. First, they hope to partner with African-American entrepreneurs jumping into the distilling business. And with Uncle Nearest has absolutely demonstrated their entrepreneurial spirit, and so they bring a lot of talent and thinking there. We have some of the best technical capability in the industry and, and very strong on the marketing side. Next, they're launching a leadership acceleration program that is pretty much a year-long academy for becoming a master distiller. We think if a person meets, um, has all this specific training and the opportunity to actually intern or shadow in a distillery, that at the end of that 12 to 18 month period, they should be in a very good position to go compete for operator roles. And finally, they're launching a degree program to help recruit the best and brightest. There'll be a distilling certificate that you can enroll at Motville College and get additional curriculum specific to distilling. And they're working on a certified two-year degree. All of this in honor of the legacy of Nearest Green. As we have them today, he would have been truly the first master distiller at Jack Daniel. Because for too long, this industry may have kept a different kind of secret. If you're a young African-American and you look around, there's nobody that looks like you. But this one, Jack Daniels won't keep to themselves. We hope that as this builds, we're getting more and more people through the program and they go out and they're working in many different places. Chris Davis, News Channel 5.